Hello everybody, welcome to the Universal Observations uh, channel here. Uh, today I've got a hopefully a very special treat for you, at least it's a special treat for myself. ED-127 FCD-100 glass um, carbon fiber. So uh, I have not yet seen an unboxing video for this on YouTube, so this uh, hopefully will be a first and maybe somebody else is looking for this as well. Uh, I will tell you that I have opened up the box um, and at least looked inside, uh, but I've repacked it close to the way that Explore Scientific had it packed, but uh, it may not be exact, so uh, hopefully nobody notices anything wrong with the packing and says, hey, wait a minute, uh, I'm being honest and say that I previously did open it, uh, but to make things look semi-authentic, I did retape it back up. So uh, here we have the outer shipping box and on the inside and this is where it may not look exactly perfect because i kind of stuffed things back in here uh, this is the inner box i'm glad they overpacked it uh, although shipping seems like they they handled it pretty well uh, i will give some kudos to um, uh, high point scientific as they uh, were very good when i placed the order uh, not only did i purchase uh, the scope but I also purchased the Skywatcher EQ6R and uh, Hotec Flattener, uh, which I will highlight in unboxing uh, a little bit later. Not sure if I'll do that in this video or maybe a separate video. But High Point Scientific sent me uh, confirmations, really nice confirmation emails that they received the, uh, the order and that the mount was going to be drop shipping directly from Skywatcher and uh, that the Hotec flattener was on back order, which I knew when I ordered it, but they sent, sent me really nice emails stating everything, being really clear and transparent uh, what was happening. And today I got the email that uh, the Hotec flattener was coming. I couldn't wait anymore uh, to unbox this because I want to put everything together and see how it, how it looks and fits. So you can see there's a couple of nice uh, pieces of foam here holding everything in. Uh, again, these might be slightly out of place depending on where everything was originally packed. But in here, there's a manual, which I could not find a copy of a manual online anywhere. Uh, I think I found a, 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 a German copy, and I wasn't even sure if that was really the manual. Uh, I'm gonna um, not scan this, but I'll at least show a few pictures of it. There's not a lot of details in this manual for what is in uh, the scope. I was, I was hoping to have some diagrams and some measurements. Uh, and whatnot, but uh, it's a it's a nice looking piece. Uh, they have some uh, really good materials here, instruction manuals. Uh, thank you for choosing the scope. There's also a registration card, which I believe extends your warranty if you fill that out with a, within a certain amount of time. And <clears throat> let's let's take a look at this manual. Because this manual apparently covers a lot of different uh, products, different glasses, different focusers, and looking in here, there is not a lot of detail on specific things that I was looking for. Uh, threads, um, dimensions, screw holes, brackets, things of that nature. There is some good information on here, but it's, it's not all. Uh, related to this particular scope. So I'm um, <laughs> going to kind of set this aside for now and uh, uh, pull the scope out. Now I did see a previous video online from Explore Scientific say that, saying that they were uh, kind of discontinuing the hard-sided cases, uh, making those no longer available. This did come with a nice uh, little bag which I will probably use to uh, wrap the scope before I put it in another case that I'm going to purchase. Uh, so let's see here. Let's open this all up. Before I dig into this, uh, before I pull the scope out, there is this little pack and it has three things in it. Uh, very well packed in here. And I did take these out and I've repacked these. So again, nobody call Explore Scientific out on uh, hey, what's going on with your packing? Because I, I tried to put this back the same way that I found it, but it may not be perfect. So anyway, this does come with uh, two, what I believe are two inch spacers, and they can be screwed together either way. You can go one inside of the other or go the opposite way. And uh, it looks like you can take the, um, 
uh, mount for the eyepiece off and thread these directly into the end of the focuser. And uh, uh, so that, that seems to work and give you the right amount of uh, extension for back focus. Now I tried this with the diagonal. I put an eyepiece in there and I was able to, to get focus, at least here uh, to a fairly distant object. Uh, I have not tried to look uh, to the sky, nor have I tried to put my camera on this. So that's going to be kind of the next thing that's, that's coming about. Then there's also this nice diagonal. Um, and this may be, until, until next week, it may be the only way that I can get my camera uh, to mount because uh, the extension tubes and the different um, uh, T-mount adapter that I have for my Canon D6 uh, will not thread onto any of these, so I might have to use the diagonal just temporarily. But it looks good, and um, looking through it just with an eyepiece, everything looks to be uh, what you might need. So this is uh, this this point here uh, is an inch and a quarter for inch and a quarter eyepieces. Then you can take this out. And uh, that'll allow you to put in uh, different things, which I'm guessing that's a two inch uh, eyepiece, which I don't have any. And notice that it's only the two, two screws and it's got the, the insert in there. So it's not just mounting on those two points. It's a brass insert, or I'm assuming it's brass. Uh, but I think reading this, this, this carbon fiber is 99%. Uh, so, uh, but again, I'm probably not going to be using this uh, for very long. I probably, oh, there's the 90%, 99%. I'm going to probably be using this only until I get my flattener so I can mount uh, it on there. I chose the Hotec flattener because I didn't want a reducer. Uh, the Explore Scientific flattener is also a 0.7 reducer. And since I'm going kind of long with this uh, scope. I wanted to get the kind of the full impact. I may buy the uh, Explore Scientific 0.7 uh, reducer flattener uh, at a later date, but right now I want uh, kind of the full full length of that. So uh, as I move this out of the way here, get some of the packing out of here. Uh, let's take the scope out and set that on the table. Now I did, again, I have had this out of here, but I wrapped it kind of exactly the way that it was. Um, also wrapped around the focuser knob was, uh, do not look directly at the sun with this danger of blindness. So big, uh, thing kind of right in your face, get the box out of here and, uh, take the rubber band off of here and open that up. All right. So the first thing that I noticed, uh, online the first thing that I noticed online that was going to be kind of an issue was the guide scope mounting bracket here. Um, oh, interesting. There's a what seems to be a screw missing here. Uh, we'll see if it uh, maybe fell into the box or something. Uh, but this this mount doesn't seem to be very popular. Uh, so it's not um, a Vixen style dovetail mount, and uh, I did notice that when I before I purchased it online and I have these other uh, brackets and I was hoping that I could get away with maybe mounting that but it looks like it's going to be too small uh, yeah that's going to probably be too small so I'm gonna have to find some kind of an adapter or probably what I'll do is put my guide scope up here on the handle I have not had this bubble wrap off of the handle yet so uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what that looks like firsthand here. All right, so if we undo this gently here, all right, there's the handle. Now I do recognize that this bracket uh, there's some screws here. There are Allen head screws. I'm assuming they're quarter twenty screws, but I don't know that. Um, I'm assuming that that bracket. And then the dovetail on the bottom can be removed and we could actually, uh, I'm, I'm planning on getting a D style mounting plate, the 75 millimeter Los Mandy bracket. And I might end up spreading those out a little bit further. We'll see how that goes. I've seen previous videos, some older videos where uh, these knobs were a little different. Actually, there were some, some brackets, uh, some clamps that you would fold over. And then I've also heard that some of these were plastic in the past. Uh, these look to be metal and look to be pretty substantial. 
so I'm pretty impressed. Um, the other thing that I wanted to take a look at was this uh, bracket here, this handle bracket. I grabbed a quarter 20 screw to see if that would go in there, and that does in fact go in there, so uh, I'm going to be able to mount some stuff on here. I know people do that, but uh, this was one of those dimensional things that I just couldn't find anywhere online and wanted to kind of understand and one of the reasons why I'm doing this doing this video. Uh, so that is a quarter by, uh, at least we'll let a quarter by 20 screw in there. And uh, so what I also did, if you don't have one of these, um, you should get one. Uh, this little um, uh, caliper uh, I think on Amazon was like 15 bucks, 10 or 15 dollars. But uh, if I take a look, the total dimension of that is uh, about 100 millimeters. A little bit inside of that, um, which if we change this to inches, is about 3.9 inches, and uh, or three inches and 61 64ths. So it's it's kind of close to. Four inches it might in fact be four inches but I think a hundred millimeters is probably a safe bet it looks like it's another millimeter or so larger than that and uh, I don't know if I can get this inside of here if that makes any sense looks like that's about five millimeters let me zero this again and about six millimeters or so inside of there Let's see if that you know, about six millimeters two tenths of an inch two and uh, actually uh, it shows up as a quarter so yeah a quarter inch by 20 screw fits in there quite well let's see the focuser is i've seen a couple of different rumblings about the focuser um, it seems to be pretty decent it uh, it is that hex focuser and i'm not sure if that's a brand because they show it in all caps but this is uh, actually hex shaped here and it's marked in, uh, as near as I can tell, millimeters. And it looks like it goes out to about 45 millimeters. So I don't know if some of that will help, help you guys out. It does look like um, you can rotate things in here. I have had this uh, off here so I can unscrew this and then uh, put those extensions uh, in there directly. And let's see, let's take a look at the bottom of this in case somebody wants to see this. But this is pretty well put together. Uh, the other thing that I noticed is this uh, mounting bracket. Again, I'm going to probably put the 75 millimeter one on here. But uh, on this side, it's uh, just the standard side of the bracket. But over here, this is kind of interesting. It's got this, what appears to be this little stainless steel spacer plate on it. And I'm not sure why that's on there. Uh, it seems to be only a millimeter or so. I haven't measured it. But it's held on by two screws. It's held on pretty good. Um, I thought I saw in some documentation that this was kind of a protective cover, but I don't know why it wouldn't be on both sides. So I'm still not sure why that's uh, like that. Uh, now I guess it's time to take the paper off. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll put it this way here and show you the uh, lens cap. So take the lens cap off, kind of the first, first, first light. So there you can see. Uh, uh, triplet air spaced uh, ED apochromatic. Uh, it is the FCD 100, the F7.5, and 127 millimeter, 952 millimeter focal length from Explore Scientific. Now, I have not had the paper off, nor have I had the dew shield uh, extended. So, I don't know if I can take a little bit of extra time here and cut this off without trying to peel it and rip it and do all that stuff. So let's see how this looks here. All right, well, it looks like carbon fiber, which is what it's supposed to be and why I ordered it. And I'm not sure how the dew, dew shield extends. It doesn't look like there's any mounting, so I'm just assuming it slides out. There we go. Got it kind of caught on the table here. It's very um, end heavy. Some pretty big glass out there. So I also saw some things that maybe it was for the 102, uh, but people were saying that this extension was not very long. Well, you can see how far I extended that out. That's oh, probably at least 100 millimeters. Let me, what do I do with the calipers here? Try to measure that out. So that was roughly, if that went out about that far, about five inches, uh, about 148, 150 millimeters. So. 
that's how far that extended out. And let's take the next step of this, take the bracket off of here. Oh, they don't fold over. You gotta actually take the screws all the way out. I thought they would uh, rotate over, but they don't. You actually have to, all right, so here's a better angle. Um, I thought these would actually kind of rotate around, but once uh, it looks like you have to take them all the way out to be able to remove this bracket. There we go. Do they are they captive? It seems like they're captive. They are. They're captive on there, so you're not going to lose this, lose those in the grass or in the driveway or wherever you're at. Let's take this out of here. And so there's the bracket, nicely felt lined. And uh, you can see how that fits in. Looks like there's a few different mounting options for the bottom uh, for that uh, dovetail plate. So I'll show you what that's all about. The handle, how that comes off. I mentioned that I measured that. That's a quarter inch uh, by roughly 100 millimeters. Take this paper off. All right. And there's the second piece of paper, second and final piece of paper. And now it looks like carbon fiber. So there you can see this scope in all of its glory. That is the unboxing of the ED127 FCD100 carbon fiber. Thank you for watching the Universal Observations uh, unboxing video on the uh, Explore Scientific ED-127. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you like the channel, subscribe, like us. Uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch and uh, have a great day.